Well, it's cold outside, and uh, this needs a thermostat. I'm getting cold. Uh, the only heat I have is my heat seater. I mean, my heat seater. My heated seat, which works really good on these. They're really good. And a little bit of heat coming out. But uh, blower speed's fine. It's just not very hot. And I've been getting check engine light coming on, saying the engine's too cold. That's been going on for about a month. So, uh... I gotta find out what I did with the thermostat. It's a, it's a kit that you can buy the housing assembly. Uh, that's over a hundred bucks. No, I bought the thermostat kit for like forty bucks, um, and you got to put it together. Found it, Beck Arnley. I guess it's right. Uh, but anyway, to do these, you have to. Drop the engine down again. It's pretty much half stuff. I do this. I drop the engine down. So I'm not going to bore you with that because there, I think there's one, if not two, videos of me dropping the engine. I'm not dropping it at completely out. No, I'm not disconnecting the engine. I'm just lowering it down. I'm going to lower it down about that far because I got to get the intake off and get the alternator off so I can get down to the thermostat houses because it's a squirrely tube you got to get to to get it out of the way to get to the thermostat. So. Bear with me, and we'll get this thing up on uh, jack stands and uh, get it all. We'll get the engine lowered, and then we'll get back on about the time I start doing the intake. Oh. Show y'all what I'm talking about. Let me get some light. All right. Let me give y'all a view from out here of one of these smarts. That's all you get. And this is definitely the tightest engine compartment I've ever had to work in. Ever. You can't get to anything. You have to lower the engine to do things. And it's just part of it. You want to get that high mileage? I mean, excuse me, high gas mileage? This is what you got to do to get it, I guess, on these. But as you can tell, you cannot see the thermostat has it. You don't even try to get to it from the bottom. That ain't going to happen. Uh, so I got to remove the intake. And I got to remove the alternator because it's down there. So, again, hold up. Let me get this thing lowered and uh, lowered. Well, as you can tell, I got the engine lowered down. You can see the definitely we got room to play now. Uh, one thing I do during this process is I remove the uh, top of the breather housing, excuse me, the uh, air filter housing, and you can see how loose that is. There is two bolts down there, and they do have rubber grommets, so when you drop this down, just make sure there's still play, that you're not breaking nothing, because to get to those two, it's much easier to get to those two, those two retaining bolts once this uh, induction's out of the way, so... Give me a minute and we'll set the camera up and uh, we'll start work on this monkey. And this one down here, <clears throat> I was showing you, you just got to have patience to work with that one. Because you can't get it from the bottom, bottom, bottom. You have to snake your arm in and get it like this. Once you lower it down, it is easier to get to. But it's a, you know, little bit at a time. And then you can get out with your fingers.
got the battery disconnected. Now here's the issue with this here. <clears throat> is even though I got this lowered, the actual cradle assembly lowered, that has the engine transmission attached to it, or the whole running gear attached to this uh, cradle. Um, I have to remove this upper mount to get the, uh, uh, the, um, one of the retaining bolts uh, out of the uh, alternator. So give me a minute. Y'all see me moving some stuff around and uh, y'all get a good vantage point from right here, I believe, of uh, if I didn't hit my camera and move it out of the way. Right here, you'll see me take the uh, engine mount off up here from up there. So maybe that'll help you out. See that? Because I have to support the engine when I take that off. So I got to support the engine that then a cradle that's already lowered. Yeah.
I don't know if to be upset with the Germans or the Japanese on this one. German car, Japanese engine. But everything's got a Farfanukan part number on it. There we go. Bring that out here. I'm trying to get it where I can get out of my way. Where I can see some stuff. All right. kind of I think that runs on up to the to the uh, uh, brake booster to squeeze with one hand and pull it's like a fuel line you squeeze here it pulls out bolt right there all right here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna plug these uh these uh, injector holes up and i'm gonna hit it with air and uh so nothing falls in the in uh, intake tracks intake runners yeah man I'm trying to get my breath Well, after a little more thinking, I decided not to use air since this is going inside my car. So we're just gonna clean up and we're gonna brush it. Oh, right, yay, so.
It definitely falls under the better than nothing category. Oh. Oh. I'm on top of a milk crate laying on this uh this um folding door on the back with the uh third brake light in my groin because I'm way too short and it's jacked up in the air. So this isn't the funnest thing. Okay. I physically cannot get in my current position. Get to this connector. Oh, I still gotta take that line off over there, yeah. There's another connector down here. I'm trying the best way to get to it. I'm gonna have to just break the intake loose and pull it up to get to some of this other stuff, I believe. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go from there. buddy Richard yesterday and I'm hoping he's gonna be bringing by I you know we've been making in the works of me building the carburetors on this katana uh, we've been also uh, excuse me yesterday he had just uh, he had called and he said uh, John Deere 9 series zero turn he needs it worked on. You talk to the right guy. <clears throat> Love to work on that thing. Making arrangements and hopefully get it here next week or two. If you see me tapping, it's because I'm feeling if there's any other, if it resonates. That lets you know if it's attached somewhere else down the line. <sighs> but we're gonna do the right thing. And uh I'm gonna Google the manifold, brand new one, and see where the uh, bolt holes are. Uh you know, y'all people, you, you know, you can go up to you can go on to YouTube, somebody's probably done this job, but uh <coughs> excuse me. But uh, I don't wanna break this intake. So I'd rather uh, cower down and do it the right way and research it. And my software only goes up to uh, 2005. Oh, wait a minute. I do have a Mercedes uh, of this, but there's a problem. It's on a drive. I can't access right now because it's, it's uh, um, extent four uh, file system. And I don't have a Linux box built right now to see that. And that's where the VM sits before I can mount it. So I'm sorry about the IT talk. Said I wouldn't do IT. I'm not showing you IT. I'm just telling you. So that holds my VM that has the software for this. So I need to look up uh, where the bolt holes are so I don't snap this intake. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm not going to prime nothing until I know for sure. So I'll be. I'll get you up back here in just a minute. Well, when you hear me struggling up and down and grunting getting up this is why 
it's off the ground that the tailgate is probably almost four feet off the ground and you see I got to have my milk crate so I am laid over that and there's probably a picture actually one of the uh, what is it called a thumbnail of one of my videos of me struggling in there and I don't remember what job it was but anyway I think it was the uh, a valve cover but uh, I my dad got me these very 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 bright lights that was my Christmas gift and I hooked them up don't look at my wiring I'm, I'm putting new in uh, and it's all all wireless so I got it connected to my phone but somebody came out here and pulled that little pull string right there and that was turned off and I didn't realize it so I've been having to struggle around with a bunch of lighting out there because the lighting I didn't realize my light was off and uh, now it's back on and uh, You know, I struggle with sound and stuff like that. And uh, keeping things charged is like anybody else does. He's got a channel. And as you can tell, this one's charging up right now. Because uh, I was running the light on the other side. Uh, but I, uh, what dropped in my lap was uh, three brand new Pixel 3As. Uh, brand new in the box. Said find a home for them. And I did. I got one of them in my hand right now. Uh, and this is going to be... Uh, just a series of <laughs> little cameras I have running around. So, uh, while that was charging, uh, I guess I'll video off this one. But, uh, what I have found, let me see if I can put this in my deal without turning y'all off. Alright, I'm gonna take this off. I spent probably too much time up front trying to figure a way to drain this from the front. It's, it's a little difficult. The pitch of the vehicle. And uh, I'm trying to use a siphon pump, but it can't get around the baffling within the coolant recovery to get down into the, uh, there's a T that runs down. You got the radiator, you got the coolant recovery tank, and a T that goes down. I was trying to snake it in so it get as much as it could, but it just won't get around the baffle. I just can't get it to do it very easily, so I'm wasting too much time. So I'm going to. Take this loose, and since this is probably the highest point, I'm going to uh, see what I can do. I just don't want to make a big old slimy mess on the bottom of the, on the garage floor. It's just hard to waddle through all that. Can't stand messes at the floor. Excuse me. See, I'm just trying to stop making a big old mess is all I'm trying to do. And you see, since that point is, and as you can see, since that point is lower than I'm pulling from, it is lower than the, um, uh, uh, thermostat housing. Hopefully, we're not gonna make that big of a mess. Here's the problem. It's supposed to be a retainer strap to hold these two lower. And the bolt's missing. It's really hard to get to that. Let me show y'all if I can get y'all in there. Oh, it's a pipe in the way. At the tip of this, it's supposed to be a bolt right there. You saw what it had to do, what we had to do to get to that, right? You know, all this, it's not there. That tells me something 
major happened. Somebody, let me take a look, make sure there's even one put in from the factory. Either A, it was not put in from the factory, which I don't see any bolt. I don't see where one was put in or somebody failed to put it in and they've been this far down for some forsaken reason. That I don't know. But it's a bolt we don't have to remove, but I gotta make sure it goes back in. All right, let's get all this butamus out of my way so I can get these out. It's really cold out and I don't feel like getting to open a door and 45 cats coming here and peeing in my car, so bye-bye. But it is what it is. Let me take that clamp off. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Oh. Who said that right there? Give me a little more room. There we go. Alright. There it is. You key it in. I'm just, I'm just thankful because this whole assembly is expensive. I was just hoping that uh, that these were not broke. How might I break them doing the job? I don't know. So we'll be in till from here on out. So that's why you see it comes as a kit. I got the gasket, the spring, the actual thermomechanical device, and the retainer. The rumors on the, the street is uh, those plastic pieces break, those arms that come down and retain it. I'm just glad it didn't happen because that's the difference between $40 for the parts and $150. Two things. I'm gonna wish I could get in there to see. It's a little stuck open. I can't see. <clears throat> I can't see if it's stuck open. But the way these I don't know if I can, maybe I can blow that up in a little bit. 
I can't push this piece up. Let me take that. Let me move this and show my fingers. It would be really easy. It's got retainers. It holds it in position. It would be nice to just to push it up and turn it. You cannot because it's got another finger that goes up and holds it in there. So it had to been slidden in, keyed in, and then pushed back down. So let me bring up two of those arms that are opposing so I can spin it. Uh, let's try the other direction. The other direction now. Let's have any better luck. <clears throat> there we go. Came out that way better. There we go. There she is. Since I got it out, see that right there was heating up. It wouldn't allow me to push and turn it, so I had to flatten one of those one of these sides out to turn it. <coughs> Probably how it was exactly put in. All right, we got instruction manual, and gasket. Let me make sure I get my old stuff out of the way so I don't inadvertently use it. Reuse it, I should say. And then we got the thermal mechanical element. Do ring, a spring, container. So this one will just go up in there. Test fit. Dry run. Yeah, it fits right in there. Thank you at the market for being nicer. Nicer. It's a paper this spring. It's gotta be a certain way. So it shows that the smaller inner diameter of the spring goes towards. So you can say it goes like that, like that. And this pin is kind of crucial. You gotta line it up in there. Alright. Let's give it the old college try upside down of course because too lazy to take it off yeah it's in there and I guess you put this in you squeeze it and you turn it with every single thing you got <clears throat> well at least me uh, we're getting somewhere Just don't want to break this thing, I'm telling you. There we go, there. There we go. It is locked. Take a minute to make sure it is locked. That's locked, that's locked. There's a metal sleeve that I can put on that. 
I don't want to do this again. Unless I'm getting paid. I ain't lying. Torque these down, hung. Just let them touch in about half a turn each until you have it seated. That's how I do it. y'all back catching you up what I've done uh, the uh, herniated valve cover gasket it's uh she uh she got surgery she got thrown back in there a little nip and tuck and we're good to go uh, I hope so um, got the intake cleaned up got a bunch of stuff cleaned up that I wanted to clean up and also the bolt that was missing on the pipes um, it's got one in it now and uh, we're about ready to go back together on this here so let me jam this intake back in here and we're gonna plug and play
smell of man, baby. Oh, cool. Yeah, apparently, uh, John's dogs chewed through the the network. I run the house underground and through the shop and out there. But he's going to send me some pictures. But I believe that we can run. We can use the existing to pull the mangled. Use the old mangled to pull the new cat six through. We'll do that one day. Get that terminated for him. I've been wanting to do that for him because I knew his dogs chewed through it, but I never went and looked to see how bad it was. But he said that we should be able to tie the new cord to it, pull it through. <coughs> I swore I pulled a rope through at the same time, an extra rope, in case I wanted to pull power through there. <laughs> but sorry about the interruptions. Uh, my son called. Dog through some cat. Dog chewed through the cat six out and run from the my old house to the shop. And we were deliberating on when we want to get that repaired. Ah. All right. Where is that? Bring it up a little higher. She's running right now. Get some cooling in this. I can get my I didn't lose a whole bunch. We'll let it bleed out. I'm trying to keep the cats out of my cars and with peeing. took this uh, transfer hose off right here. I took the hose off right there and I took the cap off the, the reservoir, the recovery tank, whatever you want to call it on this bottle. And let it gravity bleed. There, and that'll since it's higher, it'll come on up into the engine into the block. And uh, that's almost level with the uh, how high the coolant should be in the cylinder here by looking at it. So let me uh, start it back up. And make sure you turn your heater on. You ain't gonna put it wide open, just put it, turn it on to validate you're getting heat make sure it's heating up that if engine's running 10 minutes and you don't have any heat uh you got an air pocket somewhere if the heat worked fine before <laughs> all right everything's looking good under the hood bonnet if that's a hood it's like this big but uh Looks like everything's bled out pretty good. I got good heat coming out of the uh, ducting right now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off and then I'm gonna let it get a temperature so I, the fan comes on. And at the temperature it is outside right now, it might take a few minutes. I thought I have to bring this up and think that's three grand. Just hold it there and that fan comes on. If you're wondering why I got the headlights on so I can see the fan kick on. I see those dim just a little bit. 
Uh, and this thing's only got like a two amp alternator on it. But uh, what I'm checking on this particular model is return from the engine. And this hose right here coming up on the top is really, really, really warm. That's letting me know that it is flowing into the reservoir. Now I know it's above max right now. I'll straighten it all out. I'll suck some out when I'm done. But that's where I'm at. Let's look at my scan tool. Oh, y'all can't make that out. It's right at 87 degrees. It was going up and down, up and down. But I said 87 degrees. Well, I believe she's good to go on the cooling system now. I'm gonna put it back together on the test drive. But what's not, what's not good, it's still got a little leak around the valve cover. I'm gonna have to order another gasket and just, uh, when I take it down, take it apart, I'm just gonna have to super glue that gasket to that valve cover and just let it sit for a couple hours. That's the only thing that I can think about. I don't know. I didn't rush the job. It was done right. That little piece pooped out, but I don't know. I just don't know why it did what it did. Because I looked around everything with a, um, a mirror. It's in the video. And everything was perfect with it. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to order a different brand this time. So, please like, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this. I do enjoy working on this thing. It's just everything I do, I got to drop the engine. That's a, it's got a zipper. It almost just falls out now. So, you'll have a blessed weekend. Tomorrow, church. I don't know if, I don't know if y'all can see it. These specs. That's how I knew something was going on. I think we all know that. Uh,